Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to focus on Excel formulas for percentage increase and percentage decrease. Here we have a simple spreadsheet, and the columns I have is a column for year, from this year all the way projecting forward for 10 years. I have acres, which in this case is one particular citrus property, which is 22 acres. That's going to stay static all the way down. Revenue is $155,000 for this year. I, we know that already. Cost is $24,000 for this year. And that's uh, set in stone pretty much for this year. Uh, profit, that is a simple revenue minus cost. Formula will equal profit. As you can see when I pop up F2 here, you'll see D7 minus E7, which is revenue minus cost. And then we have the last column is profit per acre. And with profit per acre, that formula looks like this. Simply just F7 divided by C7. Uh, F7 is profit divided by the number of acres is C7. And that formula helps you get down to a per unit profit amount. And that's great when you're comparing one growth property, for instance, against another growth property that might be a, a different amount of acres. So when I can look at the profit per acre for both growth properties, I can see which one is actually per doing better on profit per year by per acre. It really gets it down to where you're comparing apples to apples. Now, back to our percent percentage increase formula, and we want to build that, of course, start with equals, and you want to refer it back to the initial amount given, which is 155000 so that's uh, D7 in this case. So I'll type in D7, and then because it's percentage increase, I'm going to put a plus sign here. And then I'm going to have my parentheses, and I'm going to repeat D7 again. And then times that by the 5% increase. We'll just stick to something simple like 5%, so we'll just put 5% in parentheses. And that's one way to write it. What are we doing here? Well, order of operations says you should do what's inside the parentheses first. So we say D7 times 5%. So it's going to calculate that based on the 155,000 times 5%. It's going to calculate that, and then it's going to add it back to D7, which is 155,000, to give you a new value of 162,750, which is 5% more than 155,000. There is algebraically, of course, another way to write that, and it just depends on which way you want to do it. You could say also D7 times, parentheses, 1 plus 5% into parentheses. That's just the same. It'll have the same output. It's just a different way to write it algebraically. Now, because Excel is such a time saver, you don't have to keep, of course, typing that new formula in all the way down. Instead, you can just drag the formula down, is what we say, and it will apply that formula again and again and again, updating it every single year. So to do that, you just want to have your formula built in here, of course, and then you, on that same cell, you have a little skinny box, a little tiny box at the very bottom corner of that particular cell. And when you drive your mouse over it, it's going to turn into a skinny plus sign, in which case you just want to drag that down. And you can see it's added 5% to the previous amount every year all the way down. Now, we're going to do that again in the cost side, because everybody thinks they can reduce cost with every year that comes by due to technology and just cost-cutting measures. So in this one, let's just say we think we can reduce costs or decrease costs by 2% uh, for every year that goes by. So we can write a formula for that. So we'll start off with equals. And then very similar formula, you just got to trade out the plus sign for a minus sign. So we'll say, in this case, look back up to the previous initial cost, which is found in E7. So we'll say E7. And because it's percentage decrease, we're going to say minus parentheses and then E7 times the percentage amount. We said 2% into parentheses. And then hit enter to lock that formula in. And then you see that that value, 23,520, is 2% less than 24,000. Again, use the uh, Excel way to drag a formula down. Just drag that down using your skinny plus. And every year that goes by, it decreases by 2%. Now, moving over to the profit side. Well, 
you already have that formula built in on the first line because that was just a simple subtraction problem. So, But you can just drag that formula down too so that it will examine each row and perform the calculation. And then we also have profit per acre, the very last column. And that's one of those where we say the profit divided by the number of acres. And again, that formula is already built in on, in the first cell of that particular column. So we can also drag that down now that we have the other information and it's complete. And let go, and that will tell you your profit per acre for every single year that you're forecasting forward. Now, I hope this spreadsheet helps clear up any misconceptions you had about doing a percentage increase or a percentage decrease. Businesses are always doing this, these projections that just to examine different scenarios for the future. Hope this helps. Thanks for your time.